Centipedes, uh, we have Tier Zoo. Great channel. Uh, we're talking about a centipedes are OP, and I feel like they're probably not. They just have a lot of legs. That's really it, man. And I think they're venomous also. Some of them. Maybe not all of them. I don't know. Let's find out, bro. All right, let's see, bro. Let's see what we got here. My goodness, this video's loud. Okay. Centipedes are without a doubt one of the most terrifying builds in the entire game. They're True. also one of the oldest. They're part of an ancient lineage called Myriapods. Yikes. They were the first builds to ever unlock the ability to breathe air way back wow. during the Silurian expansion. Their many legs and venomous fangs make for a fearsome display for any player looking to challenge them in combat. But has their ancient strategy held up in the face of the immense power creep the game has seen? Mm. Is having dozens upon dozens of legs much of an improvement over just having a few? Let's take a closer look at the stats and abilities of centipedes and millipedes, and ultimately decide where they fall on the tier list. Okay. First, let's take a look at their stats and abilities. And for this section, we'll show both the centipede and millipede base stats. Okay. Both centipedes and millipedes have solid defensive stats. They're both part of the arthropod faction and inherit the exoskeletal armor perk, granting them dramatically higher base defense compared to similarly sized soft It's always a good play for defense. Such as slugs or velvet worms. Their chitinous exoskeleton can deflect most basic attacks from players at or below their weight class. There is a meaningful difference between the two on this front, though. Millipedes have interlocking articulated plates, leaving essentially zero gaps in their armor other than mm. the underside where all their leg joints are. Centipedes, on the other hand, do have gaps in their armor, particularly in between segments on their sides between their legs. Mm. Unlike millipedes, which have their leg joints attached on their underside, centipede leg joints are located on the side of the centipede, making these weak points much more difficult to defend. Yikes, this results in much bro. higher defense stat for millipedes. But the trade-off is pretty obvious when you look at their other major difference, their okay. mobility stat. Millipedes have a speed stat that is only slightly higher than that of a snail. Yikes. Which is incredibly low, given that snails don't even have legs. Centipedes, <laughs> with their less restrictive armor, are some of the quickest moving arthropods in the game. But how you got autumn legs and you slow, around bro. cover and scale walls in record time. Yo! Their quick, twitchy movement makes them tough to pin down. And because of their flat shape, they have a very easy time running for cover if threatened by a player in a higher weight class. But of course, the primary reason they're invested in a higher movement speed is because it synergizes well with the last major difference they have Yikes. for millipedes, their power stat. Millipedes have no offensive moves at all. Yikes. When confronted with an adversary, millipedes will respond by attempting to lock down their defenses even more tightly than they already are, in hopes that the aggressive player will simply give up. Mm. They'll curl up into a ball in order to guard their already small number of weak points, and may also begin secreting noxious and or toxic chemicals to dissuade persistent predators from risking poison damage. That's kind of a good shot. Centipedes may okay. attempt to curl and take some hits. Why are you holding that? Not, to either flee or rely on their powerful offense to substitute for their lackluster defense. The centipede's jaws, which are really their two front legs, have been modified into hypodermic daggers, able wow. to pierce armor and inflict venom to deal devastating damage. Wow. The rest of their stats are pretty similar, as most myriapods sport fairly generic mid-level camo. Nothing too impressive, but enough to beat the average player's passive perception as long as they remain motionless. Both centipedes and millipedes sometimes sport vibrant aposematic coloration as well, foregoing stealth and replacing it with intimidation, flexing how toxic their poison or venom is. And as a fairly ancestral lineage of arthropods, it's no surprise their intelligence stat is quite low, as they were introduced to the game during a time before intelligence builds were even remotely viable, and mm. have opted to refine their core strategy rather than respec into a higher intelligence build. Unfortunately, this locks them out of the higher level perception perks like binocular vision and compound eyes, forcing them to mainly rely on their most basic options for detecting enemies, like simple eyes, chemoreception, and tremor sense. Mm. As far as other unique abilities go, myriapods don't have all that much. This is a little unfair so because- So far, it sounds like they're B tier. When they were first patched into the game, their most important unique ability was their ability to breathe on dry land. At best. However, as the game's meta has progressed, air breathing has become one of the most common abilities in the game, 
making Myriapods much less unique, and honestly a bit obsolete. One other special ability they do have is Auto Mimicry. It is quite difficult to tell at a glance which end of a centipede is the head, as the back end also looks almost identical. In fact, in some ways, the back end even functions as a head, as it also has highly sensitive structures similar to antennae. The reason this matters is that the best way to disable and defeat a centipede is to attack its head first, before mm. it has a chance to respond. If an attacking player has a 50% chance to accidentally attack the wrong end, that gives centipedes a chance to counterattack for massive damage or... Okay. So those are the base stats and abilities of the Myriapod. But how do these traits actually stack up against the current meta? While their stats seem solid at first glance, the game's power creep has severely limited their viability. Expansion after expansion, the devs have expanded access to the Myriapod's formerly exclusive abilities, and introduce new abilities to the game which function as counterplay options against centipedes and militants, mm. allowing newer builds to more efficiently exploit their weaknesses. For example, the introduction of the beak attribute dramatically improved the bird build's matchup against centipedes, Yikes. as the disjointed hitbox makes the risk of a counterattack less of a concern. But I'm getting ahead Jeez. of myself. Let's first discuss the centipede. The centipede's bite is one of the strongest in its weight class, enough to make some snake mains jealous. Really? Compared against the power of a scorpion's sting, the bite has higher raw damage and armor-piercing potential, but weaker venom. By itself, mm, okay. this makes it one of the most formidable attacking moves in the entire arthropod faction. So with that in mind, the viability of the centipede really comes down to how reliable the rest of the centipede's game plan is at enabling the use of this vicious attack. And unfortunately, this is where the cracks start to show in this ancient build's game plan. When this move connects, the damage it deals is devastating, but landing a strike well, with the centipede is easier said than done. For starters, while the centipede's base movement speed is quite solid, it lacks the surprise burst mobility that so many predators rely on. Mm. Centipedes just sort of scurry around, hoping that they'll eventually catch their player off guard. But as long as you remain vigilant, centipedes are not a good shot at all. as predictable and telegraphed as they come. Centipedes have pretty low stealth and make no attempts to conceal themselves as they approach a Terrible target. strat. So as long as your character's passive perception is halfway decent, you should have plenty of opportunity to react and escape before they get within striking range. Their poor vision also undermines their ability to pursue prey as they flee, even though they easily have the speed to chase them down. The only mistake players commonly make is attempting to stand their ground and fight them off, mm. rather than taking the easy way out and fleeing before they, they can't be a hero. In that makes sense. Lack of ability to ambush, centipedes also have such a low intelligence stat that fairly rudimentary stealth tactics, things like basic camouflage and hiding behind partial cover, are highly effective against them, and can cause an aggressive centipede They're like GTA to the opportunity to attack as they run right past you. It's worth noting that one subclass of centipedes does have the compound eyes perk and also sports an even higher base movement speed. Oh, wow. One of the fastest in the entire arthropod faction. But these centipedes, called house centipedes, have much lower damage output and defense stats, Yikes. and mostly just prey on low tier insects like silverfish and crickets. Yikes. Even in their own niche of rushdown arthropod builds, centipedes have been power crept by the solifugia, also known as the sun spider or camel spider which is significantly faster on foot, and although it isn't venomous, the raw damage this thing can put out absolutely shreds through anything caught in its path. The Sun Spider Crazy. definitely deserves its own video though, so I'll save further okay. analysis for later. I might skip that one, I think it's super ugly. I'm not an insect guy, bro, I'm really not. I don't rock with them, bro. Can't lie. Dog, what is this? Planet. Is it all but blue? Then you escape into a blue raspberry igloo. That's sweet when you taste it. Blue raspberry, that's crazy. Okay. Switching over to millipedes, things still aren't great, but they do fare a bit better. Millipedes are highly resistant to enemy attacks, there's no denying that. Millipedes in the game are better equipped to tank a ton of hits from an onslaught of attackers. However, wow. the millipedes' main method of deterring predators, its toxin, is pretty underwhelming. It doesn't deal damage quick enough to really deter persistent oh, predators. Oh, they got me as a butter. Most arthropods have solid poison resistance stats, so these types of toxins tend to really only make a difference against bird, amphibian, and rodent mains. If millipedes could spec into a more potent chemical defense, similar to the bombardier beetle, they might be a bit more dangerous to attack. But as it stands, assuming you can handle a small amount of poison damage, it can be worth it to continue attacking and fishing for a crit 
because even the Millipede's armor isn't completely invincible. This weakness at least doesn't impede their primary objective, as even though they have just as terrible of eyesight as centipedes, or potentially even worse in the case of some, this doesn't stop them from easily finding the moss and detritus that they need to live on. In addition, some millipedes do opt for a different style of defense, with barbed bristles that are highly effective at deterring ants. This Fair. is less effective against birds and rodents, but much better against other arthropods. This is Loki so a terrible while build, both have bro. Play, millipedes have options when it comes to adapting to their local meta. Like One Loki, major area I think garbage both build. centipedes and millipedes could improve in is making better use of their abundance of legs. Centipedes have only two modified pairs of limbs, their front legs, which have been modified into fangs, and their back legs, which have been modified into antennae. That still leaves several dozen other legs that they could probably afford to convert into more useful appendages. Having similar jaw-like legs on their back end would synergize well with their auto-mimicry ability, and make it so that there's no end you could attack safely. And for the millipede, although they aren't as combat-focused, I think they would still benefit from specking into some other utility options. Like, for example, fossil. Was that a parasite on that? I feel like there was. They have a lot of options, but right now, I genuinely think that myriapods are barely managing to do with dozens of legs Thanks. what most arthropods do with only a few. Ultimately, I do think both builds have been massively power crept and cannot justify putting them any higher than the low tiers. Terrifying as the centipede may be, I actually think it fares even worse than the scorpion given how simple and easily countered its game plan is. Wasn't the, score, wasn't the Scorpion in C tier? They're going firmly in F tier. Millipedes yeah, do that's, fare better for sure. That's fair. As their tanky, toxic defensive strategy is tricky to overcome. But with the right strategy or with a significant size advantage, Millipedes present very little challenge. In addition, poisonous Millipedes suffer from their own success in that some higher <laughs> intelligence builds, like lemurs and monkeys, actually deliberately trigger their toxic defense ability and then rub the toxin on their fur to gain a temporary bug repellent buff before uh, either discarding or eating the millipede. Fire so while I think you could definitely make the argument that they at least make it out of F tier and belong in D tier, I don't think they belong any higher than that. Yeah, garbage they builds. Play as a fast moving damage actually terrible. Or a slow toxic tank, there are much better options available to you than centipedes or millipedes. Yep. Myriapods simply have too many gaps in their defense, both in their physical armor and their game plan overall. You can be as careful as possible, but if your defenses have obvious exploits, you'll always be vulnerable. This is true not just for survival in the wilderness, but also for your personal data online. Hey man, if W video bro, W ad, you hear me bro? We love to see it bro. But yeah, garbage builds, not gonna lie, actually terrible, some of the worst we've seen probably ever in the history of this channel. Uh, that's terrible bro. That's something you hate to see it man. Really to see it. They could have.